look, I don't know if I'm the bad guy or if Lindsey Graham and Trump are the bad guys. I mean, in general, I think they're the bad guys. But in this case, maybe I'm the bad one because like with our conversations about Ted Cruz, um, you know, deferring to Trump for the past few years after being viciously opposed to him being the nominee. I think that there should be a consistency. If you go out on the line and say, this person is the direct opposite of every one of our values, then you should stick to that. I think that moving on some things, evolving with new information is a good thing. But sometimes there should be lines that you shouldn't cross. And so let's talk about Lindsey Graham and Donald Trump. So Lindsey Graham, who we showed you the video earlier, is you know talking about like there's no path without Trump. Well, I'll show you this tweet for the thousandth time. If we nominate Trump, we will get destroyed and we will deserve it. So that's what he said. Now they won that election, so he was kind of wrong. But the party was destroyed. They lost his reelection bid. They lost the Senate. They lost the House. And that tweet is the one we focus on. But like we can bring up this little mashup of so many of the no, don't let it be Trump tweets. He said it over and over. He said he's a bigot, he's xenophobic, he's racist, he's stupid, he's all sorts of things, all true, and not even the half of what he is, the monster he is. And for that, Lindsey Graham was attacked. So let's show you a little bit more of this old video of Trump talking about Lindsey Graham. This guy, Lindsey Graham, you have a guy, he's one of the dumbest human beings I've ever seen. He's a sitting United States Senator from South Carolina. He's a 2%. I saw him on television this morning, and I think he lost it. He's saying, Donald Trump, he's, he couldn't even talk. He was shaking. The hatred. They say, what do you think of Donald Trump? Oh, oh, oh. He went crazy. The guy is a nut job. I mean, what the... And honestly, 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 I don't want his endorsement. I don't want anything to do with him. And his, his thinking, he says, I know so much. He knows about the military. I could push him over with a little thimble. Boom. I don't know what that has to do with anything. <laughs> um, you know, noted strong guy exerciser Donald Trump. But anyway, yeah, you're one of the dumbest human beings on the planet. He doesn't want your endorsement. You don't know anything. And yet years later, Lindsey Graham is still desperate to give his endorsement constantly to Donald Trump so he can go golfing with him. So Trump won't attack him. Not even on Twitter anymore. Trump can't even do the thing you guys were all afraid of. What is he gonna put a post on his little desk blog? And you're still afraid of that, but Yasmin, they are. Lindsey Graham is still terrified of what Trump can do to him. Yeah, there's two things that I will give Republicans credit for. The first being that they have no problem with being hypocritical. They'll say one thing, the next day they'll say the exact other thing. And act like it never happened. Act like everything's totally fine. The rest of us are going crazy because we're all being gaslit. Like, didn't he just say that? And you know, and I was like, yeah, maybe. But now he said this, and that's all that matters. The other thing that they do very well is they don't care that their policies are not popular because they'll just suppress votes in order to get their votes. They don't care that Donald Trump did not win the popular vote. And they don't care that he lost the election in 2020 either because they still think that his policies and his persona, all of him, is mm -hmm. what needs to propel the Republican Party forward after 2020, after 2024, yeah. I don't know, whenever. I mean, maybe, look, to some extent, maybe it's convenient for these old school Republicans that in the past they had to like sort of try or pretend, like come up with, hey, we've got a healthcare plan or something. Like they had to pretend to do those things to do what they really wanna do, which is the tax cuts. Trump maybe is just a shortcut, like we don't have to do any of that. We don't have to have a platform, we don't have to have plans. He'll go and he'll do his rallies and all the crazy, the dumb racists will applaud for him. And then we can give trillions of dollars to the wealthy. Like, I don't know, maybe it's convenient. But I just wanna throw out one extra thing. There's a comment on from Twitch from Telepanda who says, why would you push someone over with a thimble? What is that? That is not an expression and it's not. Like when he says not. that he like choked yeah. like a dog. Like that's not, an, Trump makes up these weird expressions that say way more about him than about the world. <laughs> but and then anyway. he says like, oh, Lindsey Graham knows about the military. I can push him over with a thimble. What does one have to do with the other? I don't know. I, I, I can't you, no, any can, of it. You know who knows a lot about the, the military? The only people I trust for military strategy is uh, the world's strong men. If you can't deadlift a thousand pounds, don't tell me about how tanks are supposed to work. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense at all. Anyway, um, 
Arnold Schwarzenegger, military genius. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Cast or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want, with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.